Hey coaches, we're back. Help support this free resource for athletes and coaches by hitting subscribe. Make sure you like and comment your thoughts or engage with us through our social media platforms. We need you to help continue to grow our brand and it all starts by joining our team of over 500 subscribers. Click the bell to get live notifications of new content coming your way in 2021. Hey coaches, welcome to our second video this week, taking a look at the Alabama offense. Uh, in our first video, we took a look at how they use different run schemes in their RPO game uh, off the bubble screen and the glance route. Now we're going to take a look at how they kind of dress that up and create a variety of plays off those exact same concepts. So here you're going to see some motion from the bottom or from the top of the screen to the bottom, forces an adjustment in the defense. Okay, and again, we saw in that first video how challenging it can be on defenses to try and leverage this bubble screen, right? So for them to stay sound in the box and try and leverage the bubble screen uh, really can cause some problems. So especially when you have dynamic athletes doing it. So one thing that I love that they'll do is they'll run that same action, okay, and now they'll run the glance from number one. So now they're, we're still reading this overhang. If this guy flies out of the box right now to take this away and create that three on two that you want in pass coverage, uh, then they're going to hand the ball off. And here they're running power switch. We actually have a video on this exact concept on our channel as well. Their power switch RPO. Okay, but I love here how they're now taking advantage of that adjustment from the defense. So we see the defense flying down to cover that bubble screen. Now instead of running that traditional you know, screen and go, they're attacking the space that becomes open by running that glance route. Okay, and they, they have a ton of success with this. Um, you know, They get guys wide open on this throughout the year. So you'll see here they're up front. Again, a lot of motion you'll see with Bama. Um, a lot of times they're, you're, you're, someone's moving pre-snap and someone's moving as the ball's being snapped. Here we see their power switch RPO, so it really plays off of their split zone. It's going to look a lot like split zone on this backside double to these linebackers, but now we're getting a pulling guard to kick out this defensive end, and we're going to fold the fullback up and through. So again, you see number six plays the run, and they're able to throw the window in behind. Second thing, they build off this, and again, incredibly creative. Um, they did a great job in the National Championship game of getting guys open, uh, wide open on, it, on easy throws, especially against a team that covers as well man-to-man -man as Ohio State. Here you see them run uh, the return bubble. So some people call this an orbit motion um, where they're going to make it look like they're going to run him around to the opposite side. You see seven here hustling to try and get to the other side. Now he's got to slam on the brakes and come back. Again, they're going to now be able to RPO this linebacker with the power switch concept and get the ball out in space. And you see this one is built in with their glance option as well. So if they're, if they're able uh, you know, to, to fly back down and take this, they have the glance over top of it as well. Almost creates that natural pick. And again, a great throw, really good accuracy, getting that ball on the front shoulder. And just a layup of a first down. They get the Heisman Trophy winner wide open in that much space. The other thing you'll see here in a trend through their offense again is these kind of condensed sets. Here it's two tight ends. Uh, and what they're really doing here is they're saying, hey, we're going to RPO this side of the field. Okay, and if we're going to RPO that side of the field, we want to make sure that no one's able to cut this thing off in the backside. So by adding that extra tight end, you widen the edge and give your quarterback a little more time to actually throw this RPO. So you'll see them do that a lot. They'll RPO away from the condensed side so that they have one extra blocker here. So if you get any sort of edge pressure, it's coming one gap wider so that they have more time to throw the bubble and throw the glance. So here it is again. Here we're here we're back to uh, the inside zone slice RPO. Okay, and again he's taking a look. Now we got a stack out here. Um, they're playing two on two. They love this out of the stack to almost run like a delayed glance. So he'll show the block, 
And then instead of that traditional bubble and go, now he'll run into that void in the middle of the field. As the box players are playing the run to this sideline and the bubble players are playing the bubble to this sideline, traditionally you have that over-the-top help, you know, here if it's that uh, high safety who would help on the and go if it became a vertical. Right now they're going to attack that gap and throw the glance. Okay, and again, you know, hopefully you got some players in your program that are able to take advantage when they get in that type of space. Okay, I'm sure here they would rather, they don't love this exchange on the backside. I would imagine with kind of the overloaded front, this tackle's not sure who to step down to. Whether they're trying to have this guy fold in an ISO over here, or whether they're just trying to get the full zone action and have him and split and cut this off on the backside. There's some confusion there, but again, they're almost always adding in a six blocker into their RPO schemes to widen edges uh, and give Mac Jones more time to throw the glance or throw the bubble. Here it is off play action. So this is an RPO, um, but similar idea. Again, you have the condensed set. What do they like to do out of the condensed set? Well, they like to get, whether it's split zone uh, or jet flow going this way or bubble or orbit flow, they like to attack the opposite side of the field. So here we're coming off play action. Okay, and again, they're able to get the ball. The Heisman Trophy winner in the red zone in the national championship game, and they're able to get the ball to him wide open in space, um, you know, off of that orbit motion out of the condensed set. 